serious? I'm We're live! Hi! Hi, people. Hi. She's searching for lipstick. I'm searching for lipstick. Well, I figured I should have lipstick because, um, oh wait, I have some. Found it. Hold on. Hold up on. If you search long enough, there's a good. Find it. My burpees. Oh, I, this is my, this, you know, I never carry the same one twice. Of course. I don't, I, I'm not even sure what flavor this is. <laughs> it smells good. It smells like cherry. Mm -hmm. it's red. But so it's, it's, no, it's not. Only the outside is, but not the thing itself. Okay, hi. Hi. Guess why we're doing it today. Take one look and I bet you'll be able to guess. Got my haircut. She got a haircut. I got a haircut. So if you can ever count on the fact that we're going to do a, you just need to know when I'm getting my haircut and then you know we're going to have one. And I'm okay with it because it's human, which means I'm having a good hair day. So you are having a good hair day. I'm good with it. Who says that, by the way? That's almost an oxymoron. It's humid, so I'm having a good hair day. You know what? gotta be some perks to this. I know. I Humidity am uh, not, like, okay, I did get my hair cut, and it's always a dilemma for me, because I come out and people are like, oh my gosh, your hair looks so cute. And I don't know if it looks cute right now or not. It, it just looks different, and maybe different is cute, I just can't tell. But here's what I do know, for sure. Okay. It will not look like this tomorrow. Okay. Face it. If you've ever been to the hairdresser, does anyone's really haircut ever look the same the next day? No. Some people, it might actually look better. Uh, I think it's not going to look like this tomorrow, and it's not going to look better because I do not have the touch. Okay, you've got the touch in a lot of other areas. Yeah, it's just not this one. So anyway, that's all right. It's fine. It, it will grow back, and I won't love it for a while, and then I will love it, I, and then I will really like it, and I will, I will have a hair appointment set okay. and then it will be working and then I will get compliments on my hair and then my hair appointment will be the next day that's usually the cycle does that happen to you no. where people compliment your hair and you're like oh isn't that great I have an appointment cut for tomorrow a set for tomorrow no. that never happened well I also go really long periods of time like how hair. long because by the way Six I months. <gasps> what well I cut it really short and then I let it grow out and then I cut it short and I let it grow out so I don't know five or six months is there a reason you do it then? Is that like a, a just a, a, the way it goes or is that a philosophy? Uh, because usually, no, it's not a philosophy. It's usually by season. So like at the start of spring, I cut it really short and then I'll let it grow out. And then by the end of summer, I'll be ready for it. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. If I go past seven weeks, mm -hmm. it looks really looking bad. So ask me when I got my hair cut the last time. When did you get your hair cut the last time? February, yes. like sixth, I think. Okay. And now it's May. Yes. That was the longest I've ever been. It was almost a crisis. It was <laughs> so bad. I, I mean, it really was bad. But anyway, who knows? Okay, enough about it that. It looks hair. great. I, I don't, don't say it looks great. It doesn't look great. It looks okay. It looks okay, but it doesn't look great. <laughs> I know. Can't even give a because I, what I don't here. want is people sitting out there being like, well, I don't think it looks so great. Like, it, it's Okay, it's we're going to psychoanalyze this on the way home. So we got a conversation about what's happening. We got to move on. Yeah. Okay, in the meantime, let's move onward and upward. Uh, you pointed out that this weekend is Mother's Day. It is. Isn't that great? What it are is, you and your boys doing? Isn't it funny that I didn't remember that? Oh. Isn't that funny? Is it hot in here? I think it's hot, but I had it warmer because oh. you're normally freezing. I know, but today I'm really warm. Um, okay, so Mother's Day, yes, this weekend, guess what we're doing? What? Well, we'll actually play, be on a plane. Oh, okay. At least some of the day, because we're going to New York this weekend. That's fun. We're leaving on Friday to visit my dad. Good. Super excited about that. We're going to see a Broadway show that won all kinds of Tonys. Oh. Don't ask me the title of it yet, because okay. I don't exactly know. And, but I do know that it's all about Greek mythology. Oh, like Matthew's, Matthew's gonna love, love it, that. and it won all kinds of Tonys. And I have no expectations because I've okay. Can't... Time out. We don't normally do this, but Mike Knox is watching. I feel like we have to. Say oh something. my gosh! <laughs> Whoa, Mike Knox! Hi. If there's anybody who needs to know that it's Mother's Day coming up, and celebrate, you. it's you, Mike Knox. He has a beautiful family. Yes. So okay, and so Erica I, is an amazing mother. Yes to all of them yes. and so yeah, it's great well yeah. okay Hello, mike. hi mike we hope you're doing well yes. that's amazing all right so you're seeing a show okay so we're seeing a tonys. show a lot of tonys greek don't know what it's about greek mythology not quite sure how you bring together musical greek mythology singing dancing but i will out. report back and yeah. i cannot wait so that will be great um 
So that is that. And you, Mother's Day, well, obviously your mother is in Kentucky, so right. you will be doing. So a, I will be FaceTiming in to I Mother's love Day celebrations. That. Yes. That will be very good. And you did give me a little sneak preview into what um, is coming her way. Yes. So I think Sue, she's gonna like it. if you are out there watching, I think you are going to like it too. I think so. Pretty sure you're going to like it. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Um, and then there was something else I was going to tell you about Mother's Day. Not sure. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay. We're going to move on. Uh, Katie so um, appropriately pointed out last time that we were on Car Chronicles that we neglected to do something we said we were going to do, which mm -hmm. was to go back to our January um, Rise and Shine booklet and look for the things that we told ourselves we were going to do to get outside our comfort zone this year. And the reason it came up is because I did a TED Talk and that was on my list of things to do this yeah. year is to do a TED Talk. So I was like, check, check. that's going to feel great. So we both went back and first of all, you should know that this is the difference between me, 50 something, and Katie, not, uh, because hers is on her phone and mine is paper. Well, mine is on my phone because I gave it to a friend. I know, but and so I said, can you send a picture of it to me so I can have it for Car Chronicles? And she said, sure. Wow, uh, you know what impresses me a little about that? What? Like on mine, I wrote things down that, I mean, maybe I'd share them well with you, but like I wrote things on mine that I don't know if I want my friend knowing because then she might expect- Oh, I told her she wasn't allowed to read it. I mean, I'm sure she did. But then so how did she take a picture of it? She just opened up the page and took a picture and sent it to me. I she read that. Are you on crack? Well, come on, people. She hasn't said anything about what she read, so just okay. as long as we keep not talking about it, <laughs> we're good. Avoidance is just as good. Absolutely. Okay, good. All right, did you do any? Only one. What was it? Uh, the one I told you about, like leadership in church. So on my oh, Israel yeah. trip, I did one of the devotionals. Oh, you did tell me about that. Okay. That was the only one I've done yet. Okay, I got to busy. I've not done that many, but I'm gonna I'm gonna point some things out to you. Okay. okay. So one was to do TEDx. I did that. It was great. The next was to tell Meg, who is the woman who cut my hair, to surprise me. That was actually the mm, first one I that did. That was great. And I did get that was when she moved my part from this side of my head to this side of my head, which was like mind blowing because my entire freaking life had been on the other side. Right. So that was a big deal. And I did tell her, and she did surprise me, and that was great. Um, so good on that. Another one of mine was to get a massage. Oh. A, that might not seem outside your comfort zone, but I'm going to explain to you that the idea of people like pushing on my... Yep. Not so much for me, but I did it. But you did it on your little retreat. I did. I did it on my little retreat. So that's great. Yep. And it said this year that I should also take a financial risk. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you what it was. Okay. Um, Jill. Oh. So we, a okay. big financial risk, yep. kind of, I mean, investment, yeah, which is investment. a risk, yeah. right? Because we don't know if it's going to pay off. Right. We hired a consultant at mm -hmm. the House of Shine that is really designed to help move us along. Mm -hmm. And it was not a small investment. In mm -hmm. fact, it was quite an investment, but, it, and it is a little bit of a risk because we don't know if it's going to pay off, but right. we're doing the hard work. Mm -hmm. And because it was such a financial investment, right. I'm kind of maniacal about making sure we hit every milestone. single milestone along the way. And I'm a little not so bad. Okay, so that's that. Now I am going to share with you some that I wrote on here that okay. I think are hilarious that I wrote them on it because the chance of me doing this is so slim okay. that I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. I wonder what I meant when I said wear a bathing suit in public. <laughs> like, do I just... Like to town square or... <laughs> Like, did I mean, like, walk around town square? Or did I mean, like, go to a public pool and wear a bathing suit? Oh, maybe. I don't know. Like, knowing me, I meant just go to a pool that's in the public, meaning right. not in my backyard, and right. wear a bathing suit. Yes. That, maybe. But, like... <laughs> You at Town Square lounging with your suit I'm laughing that I even put that on paper. What was That's happening? I was desperate, I guess. Way to push yourself out of your comfort zone. I know. I mean, that was hilarious. So anyway, that's funny. I'm and then to that one. I know. There were a couple other on here that were just kind of funny. A visit an old friend. I had an old friend just visit mm -hmm. me. That was awesome. But I have to go visit an old friend. Otherwise, okay. it doesn't count. Um, and then I, I put in enter a competition. Oh. What did I mean by that? I don't know. I mean, we're kind of in a competition right now. Kind of. Right? I don't think that counts. Why not? Because we enter for those kinds of things all the time. Okay. So you think it has to be something harder? Yes. Dance lessons with Richard? 
Oh, I do not dance. I do not dance. I like that. That does not. Da- I do not dance. I mean, I was I like cracking myself up. Okay, do you have one of these? Because if you don't, you need to have one. You need to ha- think about. It's not too late. It's no. only. It's only May. Right. Um, you still have the whole year ahead. And clearly, of you. I only did one of mine. So right. And look I'm at how big the whole rest look of the year working on mine. Is mine is full, but don't look too close because you can't read it. I'm not reading. Um, anyway, I am just saying that everybody should do this. What are you going to do this year to get outside your comfort zone? It's not too late. Put some things on a piece of paper. And it was good to remind myself of what's on mine. Yeah, yeah. It was. I'm definitely glad. Attend mm-hmm. a conference in another industry. Mm, that's that's a, a good that's one. a good one, that's right? Good I mean, one. that that make something out of pottery. Ooh, that's kind of that's fun. fun. Yeah, tackle tech. That ain't happening. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll tackle one piece of technology. I don't know. Visit a professional that I admire. Oh. Visit a professional that I admire. That's a fun one. Like, who, am I, who would I like to set an appointment up with in some state right. and say, I would like to come and meet with you. you? That's fun. That's a good that one. That's fun. That's a good one. I know. I like that one. Okay. Good job. You can, you can borrow it. That's okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Anyway, um, what what's one of yours? Tell, visit us in the comment section and tell us. Yes. I think that's about enough. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you? Yeah. Sure. You want to add anything else for the good of the order? Well, tell us about one of yours that you didn't do that you're like, okay, you know, I still feel really committed to this. Uh, yeah. So I said I was gonna wear more white because oh. I don't wear white. Oh. As a rule, this is a mm, rule. I don't like it. I don't. I feel very self conscious in white. Yeah, so I don't, if you notice, I don't ever really wear white. Um, Can you believe it? After all this the, one, like, 15 years? loves a white t-shirt, and I'm like, oh no, you didn't catch me dead in a white t-shirt. Oh my gosh, all these years, and I really don't know this. No, it's like, I'm sweating, thinking about wearing white. <gasps> and, um, oh, wow. Run a 5K was on mine, which I'm getting closer. Thank you, CG. And, um, what else was on there? Post an Enneagram workshop was on there. Oh, so you check on that? Well, it's not on the calendar yet, but check soon. Oh, I thought you did one. No. And, um, I didn't end up doing it. And, um, I'm trying to remember what else. There were some other things, but they don't need to be said in public on oh. social media, so. Okay, all right. Ooh, but yeah, so wearing white, running right. 5K, Enneagram workshop. And so. we're going right now so that I can make her tell me. Anyway. All right. But what's on yours? What yeah, are you what's doing on to yours? get out of your comfort visit zone? The, visit the comment section and tell us at least one. Yes. Okay. And make it a juicy one. And then you one. have, like, it's May. You right, you seven months to make it happen. And make it juicy, because nobody wants to read something really boring like... Like Claudia in her bathing suit at Town Square. Right, like what's more hilarious than that? Right. Not much. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> make it a good one. All right, shining, shining off. off. <laughs>